What's good, YouTube and Facebook? This your boy, the Notorious Big V, back for another post weight loss video. Um, my surgery is currently currently scheduled for July 27th. That's one week from this Friday. I got some big, big, great news. This stack of papers you see, all of these papers are all of my clearances for the surgery um, from the cardiologist, the pulmonologist, the, the chest x-ray, um, the final, final, final clearance from my primary doctor. It's been a long journey. Um, I have Aetna through the school board and with the exception of my primary, all those other doctors were specialists and it was $45 a copay and that just sucks ass. And I'm just going to keep it real with you. Um, and then this last Friday, I had to go pay the surgeon $500 that broke my heart. But, oh, by the way, I apologize if you hear my kids calling my name. Hey, they love they, they love their daddy. What can I say? Anyway, so I had to go give the surgeon five hundred dollars. That covers all my post op visits up to six months and the classes and all that good stuff, I guess. Um, I'm nervous. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Um, I've managed to lose almost a hundred pounds on my own. Um, they say that my liver is okay, my lungs is okay. Um, I went ahead and put in for one week off from work. I'm going to take it one week at a time, see how I feel. Um, that's about it. Um, I've been drinking plenty of water. People who know me know that, I mean, I love my water. Take that big blue jug with me to work every day. Um, my mom's going to come down for the surgery and the kids are going to be there. They say it should be like 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, for anybody that's on this journey or starting this journey or thinking about this journey, let me tell you, the, the, the road is not easy. I mean, I guess it's designed that way. To see if you're really serious about it. I mean, I can't speak about other insurance companies, but Aetna, while you're on this journey, if you gain even one pound, even a half a pound, if you're a woman and you're on your menstrual, they do not care. They would deny your claim. So to stick to this strict diet, it was definitely a challenge. It was, it's my kids. It was definitely a challenge, but I did it. I did it. So, all we got now is just the waiting game. Try to get things in order. Start slowly packing my bag for the hospital. Making sure my kids got the tablets and everything that they need. And, you know, just we're going to roll with it. I don't know what time I got to be there. Oh, yeah, I went and picked up the med the medicine that I'm supposed to um, take right after the surgery. The um, Him my son calling my calling daddy. Um, calling, um, not calling. Um, you got to take some medicine to remove the acid from your stomach. And you gotta um take a blood thinner to make sure that you don't have no um no blood clots. Um that's only for a couple of days or whatever. You gotta do a lot of walking. So those two medicines alone was sixty dollars. So big up to Walmart for raping me with no lube. Um so I mean I'm doing this for me. I've been heavy set my entire life, but I'm really doing it. For the two boys that you hear in there screaming my name, mainly doing it for them because I'm 33 and I want to be around to see 133. So that's that's basically my reasoning behind it. Um, diabetes, type 2 diabetes running the family, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all that stuff running the family. I'm not trying to get that. So this is the you know preventative measure. You know, a lot of people say I'm trying to do this to um look cute. Look, I'm cute with the fat. I'm just keeping it real. That's just me. You might not like it, but I love it. Nevertheless, um, so that's about it. So that's my update. Um, 
I'm going to try to update again in probably a couple of days. If not, um, definitely the day of the surgery, the night before the surgery and the day of the surgery all day um, before they take me back. I'm going to try to have somebody, you know, recording like the screen that shows where you're at doing the surgery. Um, and record me in recovery and then kind of like narrate before me so I'm able to speak again. Um, as far as like a like a last dinner type last hurrah, uh, I'm not even really interested in eating anything. I don't have much of an appetite. My um, anxiety is, you know, through the roof. I don't know if it's fear or joyfulness. I, I really don't know. But we'll see what happens. So um, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to me rambling. And um, if you have any questions, concerns, about the surgery, if you're thinking about the surgery, or if you know somebody who had the surgery, or if even if you had the surgery and want to give me some advice, you know, drop it in the comments below. Um, if you need some advice about the insurance or the steps or whatever it takes to get qualified, or you know, just again, comment below. I'll get back to you. So until then, next time.